Hello, John St. Ryan here. When I think about all the clinics I've taught about horsemanship over the last 30 years, it seems the biggest stumbling block people have with their horse is confusion. The person is confused and or the horse is confused about how they're communicating with each other. Next comes the problem where a trainer they know uses force or dominance to supposedly teach a horse. Well, the definition I understand of teaching is to educate, to impart knowledge, not force an animal. So, I wrote the book, A Voice for the Horse, to help horse owners achieve a better understanding of how this animal thinks and learns. Now, I appreciate there's many different levels of horse ownership, from people who simply love horses and yet have no interest in riding them, to those professionals who either compete or work with their horses in a specific job. I didn't want to leave anyone out, so I focused on all the things that I know from experience have proven valuable and all things that have been scientifically proven. Now, on that subject, not everyone wants to delve into the absolute depths of understanding horses. But for those of you who do, I think you'll find a lot of information to increase your skills and abilities. And for those who just want a basic understanding of how to work and help their horse, there's more than enough here to get you on the road to recovery. And who knows, once you start seeing how things work for you and your partnership with your horse improves, you might find yourself looking further into the book and so further on in your journey. You'll feel the real rewards of your efforts when you see how easy it can be to get things working well for you and your horse, especially when you understand how they think and how they learn. Now, I'm really happy we took the time to record the book and make it available as an audiobook because there's so much information in the book that I think it's really helpful to have it where you can hear me talking about the various subjects. It makes it much more accessible. I mean, you can listen to it while you're riding, while you're driving your truck down the road, or simply sitting on a beach with a margarita in your hand. One of the things I like to recommend is to listen to a page or even just a paragraph and stop and think it through. Better still, do that with a friend and then you can talk it over with each other. It's a great way to learn and keep that knowledge unless you have too many margaritas. <laughs> Finally, just know that if you have a question about something in the book that you need help with, I'm happy to help. You can reach me through various social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and I will respond. In the meantime, ride safe and with a good heart. See you on the trail.